Welcome on C-Square. On this uh, short video clip, we're going to talk about absolute value inequalities. And the first one we're going to deal with is this absolute value inequality of less than or less or equals. They both the same. So I'm going to look on number 40, which is a little bit more complicated because you have a fraction and addition there. Um, uh, so let's uh, take a look. So like in uh, the other video clip where you saw absolute value equation, the first thing we're going to do, uh, do is to isolate the absolute value. And the first step I'll do, subtract 2. And then uh, we're going to multiply by 4. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to write two inequality, right? So we wrote the two equality, and you notice uh, we switch the inequality sign on the second one, and also we switch the uh, uh, negative four in a positive four. Now, another thing that is very, very important is the connection word that works with these two inequality, which is the word end. Okay, so now let's see how we solve this. Add three, so we end up with x next or equal um, add three here, and negative one. And for the second one, x greater or equal seven. And again, don't forget the word that connects these two statements is. So basically now we have to do the intersection, what they have in common, these two gentlemen. So let's take a look. This is the picture for the first one, x less or equals negative 1. This is the picture for the second one, x greater or equal 7. If you take a look on this picture, these two solution sets, the first one for the uh, x less or equal negative 1 and the second one, x greater or equal 7, have nothing in common. This is a special case, right? You could have noticed that here. An absolute value less or equal a negative number it's not possible, no solution. But again, the process is the same for, for example, number 39. And that one, you will get a solution. When you do the intersection, you will find out they have uh, common elements in both sets. In fact, let's take a look very fast on, uh, on number 39. I just divide by 3 and now I'm going to write the two equation.
and we end up with these two statements. Again, the work is N. So we're looking for uh, the solution set of this compound inequality, uh, and which are the numbers that are greater than zero and less than 18. Some of you can see that those numbers just by the look into the verbal statement of this or this inequality statements. But let's make a picture. Here on the third picture, we're going to put what they have in common. We're going to do the uh, intersection. The solution set uh, is represented by uh, numbers uh, that are between 0 and 18. So let me write the solution in a... In a Two different ways. The first one, right, which is nothing else than uh, the previous statement we combine in one statement. In this case, is possible. And also, I'm going to put something that I mentioned before the interval notation in case you need it. Now let's take a look to the, the other type of absolute value inequality, the one that works with uh, greater or greater or equals. Both of them uh, work the same way. So let's see number uh, 42. Okay, so on this one, we don't have to do anything. The absolute value is isolated. So we can go to the next step, which is dividing this absolute value inequality into regular inequality. And as you notice, it's the same thing like in the previous three example. However, there is a major difference. Whenever you have greater or greater or equals, the word that connects the two inequality is or. Let's solve this two inequality. Again, uh, the thing that connects the uh, uh, conjunction that connects these two statements is the word or. So, um, again, I'm going to verbalize we'll, the solution set for this number 42 is represented by the numbers that are less or equals negative 5 or greater or equals 4. So this is the picture that represents two solution sets, uh, x greater or equals 4, and the other one, x less or equals negative 5. In the third picture, we're going to put the solution set for our inequality, which is the union in this case. We're going to put them together. That is the solution set. We, we said that we have two rays, one going from negative 5 towards uh, negative infinity, one from 4 to positive infinity. Uh, if you need a interval notation, this is the first ray, the one that goes towards the left from negative 5. This is the way to show the ray that goes from 4 to positive infinity and very important remember that from uh, set theories this is the sign that shows us union 
Thank you for watching this video clip and I'm waiting for you back on C-Square. Have a great day.